So my brother, United Christ, back at you with this word. It's the Bible. Now I'm personally in the heat. Now I'm in the heat. Now we got heat. The word is up there. <laughs> Second Corinthians 11th chapter. Second Corinthians 10th chapter. We're going to try to get through this chapter. Try and blow it out. This is the chapter the Lord talk about in the Bible how, how, how everybody think of us as, as we walk according to the flesh. Like we don't deal with the spirit. Cass asked me earlier. He just told me. I told him that, you know, I mean, you got, Christ got to be on your mind. Huh? He said, yo, how you going to think? You can try and tell me you think about Christ all the time. Yes. Give me that. Hold, don't, hold what you got. Give it to me. He, Wisdom of Solomon. Uh, the sixth chapter. I need the 13th verse, maybe. Show them what you got. Give it to me from the third verse, second verse. Second Corinthians 10 and 2. But I beseech you that I may not be bold when I am present with that confidence wherewith I think to be bold against some, which think of us as if we walked according to the flesh. That's what they think. Everybody come out here, the brother just saying, they come, they run around here think we just a fleshy zone. Like we out here just like them. Cats out here drunk as a skunk. Come out here to get pissy drunk. Come out here to hang around, run around, or play around. Come out here to beg or whatever they come out here for. Some cats come out here for all kind of madness. We're not out here for that. You think we come out here according to the flesh. We're not out here for that. You understand? It's a whole different group. Brothers got all kinds of stuff in their head, what they think. Those are just thoughts. Doc. You don't know what's going on. You all right, Doc? All right, what's up? All right. Yeah, because they, they don't know what's going on. You know what I'm saying? You got to, they think we walk according to the flesh. Ain't none of we all right, Doc. Let us work. Let us work, Doc. Let us work, Doc. I mean, don't go too far. Read it, Doc. Show them what you got. Come on. But I beseech you that I may not be bold when I am present with that confidence wherewith I think to be bold against some. We think of us as if we walked according to the flesh. For though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. We don't war after the flesh. We walk in the flesh, but we don't war after the flesh. There ain't no beef with the flesh. Come on, Mark. Yeah, I think that charge fell out. Maybe. We don't war after the flesh. We walk in the flesh, but we don't war after the flesh. We're not going to beef out here. We're not here to fight nobody. We're not here to come get physical with nobody. None of them things like that. Check this out, right? Uh, uh, six and This is talking about the spirit of wisdom. Here the Lord tell you how you approach the spirit of wisdom. Everybody talking about, yeah, you don't do that. How are you going to do that all the day? This is what it's all about. To think, therefore, upon us perfection of wisdom. Now, I'm going to think about as much as I want to think about it. All the time I'm thinking about it. Anything I do, I'm thinking about how to apply the wisdom of the Heavenly Father to what I do. Yeah, this is how I bring every thought into the captivity of Christ. Right? Read it. Wisdom of Solomon, 6 and 10. Come on. For they that keep holiness holy shall be judged holy. Right. And they that have learned such things shall find what to answer. But cats don't learn this stuff. They spend their time getting drunk. Brother, my man, I don't know where he left already. Brother, come out here dressed up to the to the, to the tea. Got his brim on and everything. And that boom, boom, boom. He set up his drink and come out here and get drunk. Hard liquor and mix it with the beer. He's mixing two liquors out here on this day like this. <laughs> Sit right out here and get blasted. You know what I'm saying? They didn't learn this stuff here, man. They didn't learn the wisdom of the Heavenly Father. So they don't know how this thing here go. You got to humble up. You got you to you separate yourself from the earth. You got to honor the Lord's Sabbath day to get this juice here. Read it. Verse 11. What for set your affliction upon my Wherefore set set your affection upon my words, desire them, and ye shall be instructed. And you're going to be instructed. Cats don't know what to do. They don't know which way to go. They say, what's what? Yeah, set your affection upon my words. Set your affection upon my words. Get your mind off that liquor. Get your mind off your woman. Get your mind off your man. Get your mind off your money. Brother was bringing out ideologies earlier. All the stuff he said, you know what I mean? People come to sit for where they got idols in their head. They come sit down with idols in their head. You got to get that stuff out of your head. Set your affection upon this word. How are we going to think about it? Check it out. Read it. Second Follow the word. Check it out. Second Corinthians 10 and 4. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal 
but mighty through the most high to the pulling down of strongholds. To the pulling down of strongholds, but mighty to the most high to the pulling down of strongholds. Hey, uh, man, thanks. Tell him to call, tell him to call, call, call my brother, my uncle, my brother. Tell him to put my mother back on the line. Call now. Tell him to put mommy back on the line, right? Read it. Read it again. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through the most high to the pulling down of strongholds. To the pulling down of strongholds, but mighty through the most high to the pulling down of strongholds. There are a lot of strongholds in the earth. Politics, sports, money, women, men. All like the brother, brother, all these things become idolatry, idols in their heads. And that'd be their stronghold. Because he can't know what is in the back of his head. All he want to do is have this fun. All he want to do is be a freak. That's all he really want to do. But he hang around here, he hang around there, and see what he can get and where he can get at, where he can get his freak off at. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he don't know which way he want to do, he don't know which way is up, but he just want to be a freak. He's not serious, he's not sincere. A lot of cats, they're not sincere. They have no sincerity in them. You understand? So, hey, we talking about, they come out here and question us. We sincere. Brothers said they come walk by and look at us, shake their heads. <laughs> shake their heads. I'm, I'm talking to my brother. And I'm trying to get him to get his courage up to do what he got to do to get right. You know, fix his health and all this stuff. He worry about what people think about him. You got to think about yourself. You got to check yourself proper out. You get yourself right. Show him where you at. Come on. Wisdom of Solomon 6 and 12. Wisdom is glorious and never fadeth away. It don't never fade away, huh? They think wisdom not in the earth no more. It don't fade away. Read it. Yea, she is easily seen of them that love her, right. and found of such as seek her. If you don't look for it, you're not going to get it. The wisdom of the Heavenly Father is not to their brothers and sisters don't look for it. If you don't play for it, you're not going to get it. If you don't think about it, you're not going to have it. Right? Check this out. Read it. 2 Corinthians 10 and 6. Right. And having it in a readiness to revenge all disobedience. Oh, no, 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 no. Tell me, say, tell me. Three, yeah. 2 Corinthians 10 and 3. For though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through the most high to the pulling down of strongholds, right. casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of the most high, and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. There it is, casting down imaginations. What do people imagine out here? The woman come out here, we rap, talk about this and that. She say, she say, husband and wife situation, and she imagining, and she say, well, you know, the women, yeah, I ain't got all the stuff for the man taking over, like he gonna run the show. The woman can run his head, head household too. I'm about to get divorced from my husband. I'm gonna be at the, I'm, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have a house, and I'm gonna be head of household. <laughs> all right, if you, if you ain't got no man, then you the head of household. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> but you can't be the head. It's not, you know, it's not the desire. You shouldn't be looking to be the head. You should humble up. <laughs> you understand? Get a brother. If he ain't right, he ain't right. You got to get the right guy. You know what I mean? But the bottom line is you can't. The woman, there's order. There's spiritual hierarchy. There's spiritual hierarchy, right? Show them what you got. Read it. And the imagination, the more we cast down every thought and every imagination that casts us salt. And then read that last verse again. Casting down imaginations. And every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of the Most High, and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. And bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. So the question is, how can I do that? How can I bring every thought into the obedience of Christ? How do I do that? Show me what you got on this side. This is <clears throat> Wisdom of Solomon 6 and 13. She prevented them that desire her, and making herself first known unto them. Right. Whoso seeketh her early shall have no great travail, right. for he shall find her sitting at his doors. Right. He's going to find her sitting at his door. If you seek her early, you're, gonna, you're, gonna, you're not going to have no big problems. You got to seek wisdom, though. You got to seek the wisdom of Heavenly Father. It's not going to drop out of the sky and just bounce on your, on your table, but you entertain with other things, or, or vain things. You entertain with, 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 with uh, 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 stature. You entertain with publicity. You entertain with your friends. You entertain with drugs, alcohol, you entertain with money. These things occupy your mind. Cat, you can't say to me that you can't think about Christ because you're thinking about something else. You're thinking about something else, huh? Because thought don't stop. 
You in your mind, you thinking about, okay, I got work, I got to get ready for the job, I don't want to lose my job, I got to prepare for my job, and all these things. And then maybe your job is all you thinking about. That become your idol. All right, relax, man. Everybody come running their mouth. This is what we're talking about. You're not thinking about this stuff. You just hear it, then you come out running your mouth. Got something to say. It's wild. You ain't lost like who knows what. Out here dizzy. Right, read it. Wisdom is out 6 and 15. To think, therefore, upon her is perfection of wisdom. Here's the brother going to read that one more time. Understand this vibration here, man. Understand how you perfect wisdom. How's it go? Read it. Wisdom of Solomon 6 and 15. To think, therefore, upon her is perfection of wisdom. And whoso watches for her shall quickly be without care. You're not going to mind. You ain't going to worry about it. Because when you got the wisdom of the Heavenly Father, you don't worry about it. You got one for nothing. You're waiting on the Lord to give it to you. You understand the way. You understand the patience. You got patience. You play for the Lord. Show me where you at out. Yeah, for the, because to think there for us, perfection of wisdom. This is how you bring every thought to the captivity of Christ. This is how you bring every thought to the captivity of Christ. Because you want to think about wisdom all the time. What is wisdom? Who is wisdom? Christ is wisdom. You can't get away from it. You understand? Read it. And having in a readiness to revenge all disobedience when your obedience is fulfilled. Right, you're ready now. You're ready. The Lord got you ready. You hyped up. The spirit is on your side, Ock. And now you're ready to avenge, to avenge all disobedience when your obedience is fulfilled. When you straighten yourself out, you realize. Then you look at the love for your brothers and sisters. You say, man, these brothers got to get on this boat, man. This is the hot ride. We got to get on this ride together. You know what I mean? You got to catch you dig. You like, you love them. You want them to ride with you. Family and all these things. Brothers and sisters don't come. It's bad. It hurts. But you can't. Or what can you do? Everybody thinks for themselves. Nobody can mess with another man's joy. Why, well, every man knows his own bitterness. Every man, you know your own bitterness. I can't interrupt your joy, though. Right? Read it. Do you look on things that... Somewhere you're at. 2 Corinthians 10 and 7. Come on. Do you look on things after the outward appearance? Right. If any man trusts to himself that he is Christ, let him of himself think this again, that as he is Christ, even so are we Christ. As he is Christ, so are we Christ. You think to yourself that you Christ, them cats, all these cats running around here. We want, I see a couple of them, uh, Passovers they had. A couple of these other congregations. These can't. I want 2 Corinthians 11th chapter. They had, they had, they had, they had a, 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 a Passover, I-U-I-C, G-O-C-C. I watched a couple of them, you know, little pieces and parts of it. They posted it. Their brother, Nathan on seven talking about, he said, I kind of, I watched it a couple of times to make sure I heard what he said. He talked about the, 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 the Passover, how you get started for the Passover. He break it down. He said, yeah, this, that, he read this uh, Exodus 12. And then he come, yeah, that's the first year. So after the full moon, you count 14 days and start the Passover. <laughs> that's how that go out? <laughs> he said, the full moon, you count 14 days, and then you start the Passover. He said that. They say that? That's what they say? Wow. <laughs> yeah, I, that's what I'm saying. I said, let me, I, I taped, I, I rewinded it. That's a, that's a serious breakdown. Huh? Where you get that from? Yeah, they all crooked. That's crazy. That's what I'm saying. I said, this is crazy. I, I said, this is supposed to be the head of the truth, the crew, Nathaniel 7, right? 11. We're going to run that from the top, right? Read it. We brought tea for everybody. Second Corinthians 10 and 7. Do you look on things after the outward appearance? If any man trusts to himself that he is Christ, let him of himself think this again, that as he is Christ, even so are we Christ. Even so are we Christ. So why I mentioned that Passover because these cats got the Passover and they hold these Passover. And at the Passover, number one, they put it out. They put it on the, you know, on the, on the internet, make everybody see it. And at the Passover, a, a couple of years ago, that's this stupid congregation, uh, Sakari, that silly, them pistol, them pistol slinging congregation. 
Right. They uh they had to pass over there at a bar. They was at a bar a club or something. They had to, you know, the, the ladies came out and they were serving drinks and all this stuff. And they got accused of partying and all this stuff. <laughs> IUIC and GLCC is no different. They didn't have they weren't at the club or nothing, but everybody was partying. They got a fashion show. How could you have a fashion show at the Lord's Passover? Huh? If you call it the Passover, it's supposed to be sanctified. You got a fashion show. They got uh, rap performances, singers. Brother was singing. He broke out the mic out. And yo, pull this woman up singing <laughs> at the Passover. You understand? <laughs> They got a lot of free time. I don't know what's up. They pack, it's a packed house. It's wild, man. You understand? It's wild. But you know what I mean? They, but they think they Christ. They look. You know what I mean, we Christ, but we ain't doing that. You gotta look at you look at things that outward appearance. How you go from the inside out? Huh? It's just it's, are you sincere? What are you doing rapping? At the, I mean, rap. Where's that coming to play at? What did rap do for us as a people? What did rap, they say, I heard them say something to the effect, a rap done did a lot of things. What did rap do for? I don't understand it. <laughs> exactly. Like the brother said, it destroyed us. That's what it did for us. Somebody give me a good question. Thought about you. Well, I almost called you up, too. Nowhere around, right? <laughs> you know what I mean? Rap, huh? What did that do for us? Read it. So, come on with you, guys. Hey, first. For though I should boast somewhat more of our authority, which the Lord hath given us for edification. Check this out. And not for your destruction. Not for your destruction, right? Read it. I should not be ashamed. We're not ashamed. Not. We ain't got no shame about that. Though we, we should boast of our authority, which most I give us to edification, so we can break it down, so we can get you right. But we're not, it's not about that. Give me 124, same book. 124 in the 12th chapter. Read it from the top. You know what I mean? The more... The Lord gave us the Jews, so we we like we we, we ministers are ambassadors of the Heavenly Father. There are ministries by reconciliation. Come back to the Most High Power. Get back into this groove. Lock into the Lord. Uh, was was tight and was right. What I asked you for? No, the same book. I, yeah, one twenty four. And also, I want hold it right. Read it. Second Corinthians eleven and one. Right. Would to the Most High you could bear with me a little in my folly, and indeed bear with me. Right, and there be with me. Bear, I mean, indeed bear with us. And bear with us with our folly, since you think we silly out here. Since you think we don't know what we're doing. Matter of fact, it's a little chilly out here. And you might be saying, yo, these brothers are bugging. You understand? They walk by the brothers, they walk by shaking their head. Like, what they doing? I understand how this thing here go, right? Read it. For I am jealous over you with powerly jealousy, right. je jealousy for I have... Ex Expouse you to one husband that I may present you as a chaste virgin to Christ. Right, as a chaste virgin to Christ. He said, I, I, I espouse you to one husband. I taught you one doctrine. I gave you one line. Now you pop up, you got Episcopalian, Lutheran, Baptist. You got all this other stuff going on. You're Muslim. You're man, man. You're everything. And you want it all to be accepted. It, you, it can't be all that. It's only one vibration, one Lord, one love, one doctrine, one love. Right, read it. But I fear least by any means, as the serpent beguiled Eve through his subtility, so your mind should be corrupted from the simplicity that is in Christ. That's how it goes. The brothers say, I mean, you catch us, their minds are corrupted because Christ is easy. This is like A, B, C. This is easy. It's basic. Cats come up with all these. They got stuff inside them that don't match up with the Lord, and they want to press it up like, it, like, like somebody going to accept it. Christ is easy. Check it out. Read all that. For if he that cometh preaches another Christ. How about this? Who we have not preached. Check it out. Or if ye receive another spirit. Another spirit. Which ye have not received. Or another gospel which, which ye have not accepted. Right. Ye might well bear with him. Right, you might bear with them. The fact of the matter is, there's only one Christ. Real quick, I need Ephesians, the fourth chapter. Yeah, give me Ephesians, the fourth chapter, real quick. From, 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 the, from the top. Right, don't lose that. Right? Read that verse one more time. Understand this here. Read it. Second Corinthians 11 and 4. For if he that cometh preaches another Christ. You understand what this is going on here? 
Paul didn't never say nothing about the Catholic or being a Catholic or an Episcopalian or a Lutheran. All these stuff is some other Christ. All this some different stuff. And then he come ask us what we're doing. We read right out of the Bible. Then can't tell my then the woman asked me five, six, seven questions. Answer them all with the Bible. And then she asked another question. You ain't answer. I try to get the Bible. She said, hold it. I don't know. Hold it. Just tell me. <laughs> now you don't want the Bible. All this stuff is about the Bible. It's all about now. The brother said, I expose you on the one wife like a, a chaste virgin. And where are you going? Right? Read it. For he that cometh preacheth another Christ, whom we have not preached, or if ye receive another spirit, which ye have not received, right. or another gospel, which ye have not accepted, ye might well bear with him. Right. You might bear with him. That's your zone. It might be your lot. You know what I'm saying? You're not, you're not getting on this side, but this is only go one way. Right? Read on. For I suppose I was not a, a wit behind the very chiefest apostles. Paul said, I mean, you know, I ain't bragging nothing like that, but, you know, I mean, my, you know, I, was, I was there with everybody else. I was there with Paul, Peter, and everybody. I was rocking with them. He said, yeah, I mean, I, I'm not bragging, but this is where I was at. Show them what you got. Sir. Ephesians 4, right? Go ahead. Ephesians 4 and 1. Therefore, the prisoner of the Lord beseech you, that you walk worthy of the vocation wherewith you are called. Right here, I beseech you that you walk worthy of the vocation which you are called. You walk worthy of the title that the Lord gave you. You walk worthy. You got, you got to qualify yourself according to the calling. You can't come with some other Christ, some other doctrine, some other breakdown, and it don't match up with what we gave you. How the Lord break it down, how he puts it out to you. Read on. With all lowliness and meekness, with long suffering, forbearing one another in love. Right. Endeavoring to keep the unity of the spirit in the bond of peace. In the bond of peace. Endeavoring, endeavoring to keep the unity of the spirit in the bond of peace. You got you got to work towards it, man. You got to keep pushing, pushing towards the right thing. You got actively, which which faith is an active word. You got to be proactive about it. You got to get into this groove here, man. You can't let it lay dormant like it don't matter. That's what a massive amount of people do around, like it don't matter. They got in the Bible, go to church, you know, read a couple hours. They don't do no whole Sabbath. Here they say the Sabbath is not on Saturday, but they don't keep no other Sabbath. They say it's on Sunday, but everybody violates the Sunday Sabbath, the so-called Sunday Sabbath. You only do two or three hours. You just was partying the night before on Saturday night. The Sabbath starts at night. It starts Friday at, 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 at even. That's the Sabbath. Now, how are you going to... And you can't come with something different and act like you're still on the, gro on the, on, on the same zoo, gro groove, right? Read on. One Lord. Check it out. Read on. There is one body and one spirit, even as ye are called in one hope of your calling. This one, this is it. The Paul said, if, that, if, if somebody get, took you another doctrine and gave you another spirit, and you, you want to run with that out because you way off the, it's crazy. You don't know what's going on. This thing here is only, is only big, you don't have no choice. Nobody has a choice in the earth of what righteous, how, how they're going to be righteous. There's no compromise. I can't come with your own breakdown how you're going to be righteous. I mean, you must be bugging. A little fallible man walk around here in the earth, and now you got the answers. You got to humble up. You have to humble up to this word. Read it. 2 Corinthians 11 and 6. Come on. But... But though I be rude in speech, yet not in knowledge, but we have been thoroughly made manifest among you in all things. In all things, man. We might be rude in speech, but not in knowledge. The most high didn't cut us off with the knowledge. We got the wisdom of the Heavenly Father. That come from on high. Some people don't like the way we talk, though. They don't like it. It's his brother hollering. He's like he's mad and all that stuff. Might be rude in speech, but not in knowledge. The word is dead right. It ain't going to never change. Check this out. Read on now. Read that verse one more time. Ephesians 4 and 4, there is one body and one spirit, even as ye are called in one hope of your calling. Right. One Lord, one faith, one baptism, one power and father of all, who is above all and through all and in you all. And in you all, one Lord, one father. There's no possible way we can come with this, 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 and that type and act like we're on the same page. Cats talking about, you know what I mean? Paul says, I expose you onto like a child's virgin. I spot you on the chance version. What's up? Oh, oh, praise the Lord. 
That's nice. Come closer here. This Jesus. <laughs> right, 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 right. Show me that. Read. Second Corinthians eleven and seven. Have I committed an offense in abasing myself? That, that you might be exalted because I have preached to you the gospel of the Most High freely. We preach the gospel of the Heavenly Father freely, man. We come out here and do what we got to do. It don't matter. You know what I mean? We lift it. We, we, we humble ourselves up so you can be lifted. So you can get this juice. You can get the big. You don't have to. I mean, we come out here and suffer what we got to suffer to deliver the gospel of the Heavenly Father. 124. Be blessed. Be blessed. 2 Corinthians 1 and 24. All right. Not Hold that. Give it to me from, uh, 19. verse 19. For the Son of the Most High, Christ, who was preached among you by us, even by me, and by Silvanus and Timotheus, was not yea and nay, but in him was yea. Understand how this thing can go. So you don't come around here talking about you want to come to the Lord's vibration, you want to get into the Lord's groove, and you got yea and nay. You say, yo, and then we present the thing to you. Straight up and down. And, well, I don't know about that. What are you talking about you don't know about that? That's what it is. There ain't no yay and nay. There's no coming to Christ. You can do this part, but you can't do that part. I mean, you got to get the whole groove. Right, read on. For all the promises of the Most High in him are yea, and in him amen, unto the glory of the Most High by us. All the promises of the Most High in him are yea. Everything the Lord says is good money. Everything the most I say is guaranteed it's going to be locked in. All these unbelievers, all these unfaithful people, that's their problem that they don't believe. You ain't going, you ain't going to take that away from us. They ain't going to make us slow down. Everything that the Lord said he's going to do, he's going to do. Everything he said he was going to do, he did. The Lord said, I mean, hold that, don't lose it. Give me Ecclesiastes. I want the third chapter. Now I want the first chapter, the first chapter, right? Show me that. Now he which establisheth us with you in Christ and hath anointed, anointed us is the most high. Right? Understand this groove here, right? He that establishes us with you is Christ. And hath anointed us, that's the heavenly father. That's the creator of the heavens and the earth. He the one to set this whole vibration up. A lot of cats, they running around here talking about the most high, the most high, the most high. And try to leave Christ out. You can't get in without Christ. There's no possible way you're going to get in without Christ. You can't get forgiveness of your sins without Christ. You got to accept Christ as your head. The woman came in and said, how this thing here go? She said, my man acting up just now, yeah, I'm done with him. Now she want to be the head. <laughs> so I saw the scriptures out of the New Testament. She said, yeah, I don't use that's the Old Testament. I said, it's New Testament. The head of man is Christ. The head of woman is a man. The head of Christ is the heavenly father. That's spiritual hierarchy. If we get down together as husband and wife, you, we, we got to follow the spirit. You can't come here and talk about yay and nay. I ain't going to do that part. How you going to play that? I mean, it don't add up. Everything is yay in Christ, right? I want this here for uh, uh, right there, nine, eight. Ecclesiastes 1 and 8. All things are full of labor. Man cannot utter it. The eye is not satisfied with seeing, nor the ear filled with hearing. Everything is full of labor. Everything keep going on. The most I created this whole vibration. He set it all up. He didn't want to set us up with Christ and bring us to you. Right? Check it out. Read on. The things that have been, it is that which shall be. And that which is done is that which shall be done. And there is no new thing under the sun. It don't, and it's not going to change. It don't matter what nobody do. Yeah, we're in a different age than they were in the days of Abraham. But the same wisdom that Abraham had, we got. The same wisdom Adam had, we're going to get. It's all these Jews the same thing. The thing, that, the thing that is, is the thing that was done. Read it again. Ecclesiastes 1 and 9. The thing that hath been, it is that which shall be. And that which is done is that which shall be done. And there is no new thing under the sun. Right, the thing that is, that's what shall be. The thing that has been done is going to be done. There's no new thing under the sun. No matter what day we're in today in this earth, you can't come up with something new that applies to man. That's a pervert zone. They perverted in the earth. Now they got everything new they got is a perversion. Now man can marry man, woman can marry woman. Babies can call themselves what they want to, you know, you don't feel like a man, or you don't feel like a boy, you can be a girl. <laughs> this, right, right, right. You, you can be a furry animal. 
That's real. That's what they say, huh? No, that's real. Right. Right. Brother said they're cutting tongues and cutting like they're a snake and the madness, right? I know they're getting horns in their head. They modify the ears. Everybody want to be Spock. <laughs> listen. Hey, listen. The thing that has been, that which shall be done. The thing that has been, the Lord required that which is bad. I screwed up again. Turn to the next chapter. Give me the third chapter. Ecclesiastes, Ecclesiastes 3 and 14. Right. I know that whatsoever the Most High doeth, it shall be forever. It's forever. Whatever the Heavenly Father doeth is forever. I, it don't change. I'm a man in the earth like David was a man in the earth, like Solomon was a man in the earth, like Paul, Peter, and Christ himself. And whatever applies to man is in this Bible. Whatever applies to the woman is in the Bible. Read that again, I, Verse 14, I know that whatsoever the Most High doeth, it shall be forever. Nothing can be put to it, nor anything taken, taken from it. And the Most High doeth it, that men should fear before him. That men should fear before him. You got to understand how this thing go for men. Now we're in 2020, whatever. There ain't no brand new stuff. Now it's different than it was when it was for Adam or for Christ himself. And we follow Christ. But now it's a different application. No, Christ gave us the juice that we need for now. Everything in Christ is yay. Everything, all the promises in Christ are yay. You can't come around and tell me, yo, I ain't going to do that part. I mean, you know, it ain't going to happen. <laughs> you know what I mean? You can't come around here with just this part, not that part. Right? Read it. That which hath been is now. That which hath been is now. And that which is to be hath already been. Uh -huh. And the Most High requireth that which is past. Right, that which has been is now. And that which is, which is to be has already been. And the Most High requires that which is past. That means there's no new thing under the sun. Right? That means that everything the Lord says is going to happen is happening. And it's going to happen, right? Show them what you got. 2 Corinthians, <clears throat> excuse me. 2 Corinthians 1 and 21. Okay. Now he which Sabbath establisheth us with you in Christ, and hath anointed us is the Most High, right. who hath also sealed us and given the earnest of the Spirit in our hearts. Right. And gave the earnest of the Spirit in our minds. He sealed us too. It's everything the Heavenly Father. He run this program, man. That's how you get down. He said, I'm going to set it up this way. He's to all the plans in the Bible. So the people that don't read the Bible, that's their fault, number one. They don't believe in the Bible, number two, that's their fault. They can't, you can't see which way is up. And if you think you're so wise, you got your own game plan, that would make you a fool. That's what makes you a fool. You got your own game plan. It don't work that way. The thing that has been is now. That which is to be was already been. And the most I require, that which is past. You ain't going to come with no, no brand new stuff. You're the brand new man in the earth. You don't have to follow the rules. You're still successful. And you still live. No, that's why we die every day. Everybody dying every day. Every day, people, the Lord killing people. Every day. <laughs> yeah, right, without warning, like a thief in the night. Every day, finish that up. You know why we die, right? Why we get sick and die? Because of sin. <laughs> because of sin, huh? The same thing Adam died for. Can't try to act like he won't compare Adam. my Adam. That was she talking about. She the woman, same woman said that. Yeah, well, Adam didn't listen to his woman. Like, yeah, man, why should I listen to a man today? Adam didn't listen to his woman. Adam was a righteous cat, huh? Adam was righteous, man. He was all right, man. Adam committed a sin and caused us all to die, but Adam lived to be 900 some odd years old because he was a righteous brother. The Lord forgave him of his sins. He turned it around. A big man. One job. And you know, how's somebody today, 2023, going to. Speak against Adam. Adam was 960 years old when he died. You can't even read 70 years in his, in, in his life here. You know what I mean? Because he's too wicked. We all die because of sin, evil, and sin. Right? Read it. I'll show what you got. Finish that up. Uh, 2 Corinthians 1 and 23. Moreover, I call the Most High for a record upon my soul that to spare you, I came not as yet 
unto Corinth. I understand what the Lord's saying right here. I understand what the Lord's saying right here. I understand you got conversation and everything. Like something going on right here. Big man business, right? I know cats pop up around here, man. This is a big man zone. This is not no drunk man zone and no, 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 no casual. Well, do anything, say anything you want to say. Pay attention. Right? Maybe you get some juice, right? Read on. Uh, verse 22. Who has also sealed us and given the earnest of the spirit in our hearts. Moreover, I call the most high for a record upon my soul that to spare you, I came not as yet unto Corinth. We didn't come out here to spare nobody. The Lord said, spare not. He said, uh, uh, cry aloud, spare not. We didn't come out here to spare nobody. Come out here with your silly and uh, simplicity and all that madness. We're not coming out here to spare you, huh? My brother, they talked to us the last week. They said, oh, you always come out here and you want to make us feel bad. What <laughs> she said that? Why don't you make us feel bad? Like they don't make us feel bad, huh? Huh? Right. They don't make us feel bad. We cry and sigh for our people all the time. We cry, man. And this is, we sigh for our people because they make us feel bad. Then they hear what we got. The next brother come out and say, every time I come out here, I see, I mean, just, you know, sad stuff. You know, nothing encouraging. I said, what's wrong with you, man? <laughs> right, nothing positive. Wow, I finished that up. Verse uh, 24, not for that we have dominion over your faith, but are helpers of your joy. For by faith ye stand. We don't, we're not dominion over nobody's faith. We don't have a uh, rulership over nobody's faith. We have no rulership over nobody's faith, right? We're here for your joy. He reading it, right? Are you listening? All right. The only way you're going to listen when you be quiet. Here, Chuck. Not for that we have dominion over your faith, but are helpers of your joy. For by faith ye stand. You understand that? Do you understand what we just read? Yeah, by faith you stand. You understand faith, what it is? Do you understand what faith is, Ak? Faith in what? Faith in what? <laughs> you even know he's talking crazy, right? You even know he's saying something <laughs> All right, sir. Take care. No, faith is substance of things. The substance of things hope for the evidence of things not seen. The faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Not my Allah. The things hoped for, what you can't see. We hope to live and never die. Our faith, we try, we try to live and never die. Do you ever see a man live forever? No. But the Lord is giving it up. Have faith in that. And you saying something. Have faith. Everything else is small. Everything else is small. Relax, on. Relax, relax, relax. Bro, relax, man. You ain't saying nothing right. Relax. I want to hear it. I want, I want you to listen. Check it, sis. Read it. Ecclesiastes 3. And 15, that which hath been is now, and that which is to be hath already been, and the Most High requires that which is past. He required that which is past, huh? Read it. And moreover, I saw under the sun the place of judgment, that wickedness was there. So it's perverted in earth, because the place where judgment is supposed to be at is wicked. It's wicked people. Where is the place of judgment at? Where is the place of judgment? Tell me. Where is the place of judgment? Right. A place of judgment. Give me a place, any place of judgment. Give me a place of judgment. It's the courthouse, Hawk. It's the court. Courts. Now, stop repeating the same thing. Just answer the question. Read on. And moreover, I saw under the sun the place of judgment, that, that wickedness was there, and the place of righteousness, that iniquity was there. I said in mine heart, the most high shall judge the righteous and the wicked, for there is a time there for every purpose and for every work. Right, it don't matter what you got, how you get down, you're going to be judged. The place where right now is perverted enough, you don't realize it's a problem. The place where judgment is supposed to be is wickedness, and where righteousness is supposed to be is perversion. It's not, it's not good, it's iniquity. It's not going to work. Hold that. Show them what you got, come back. Who you got? Stop talking, I right? relax. Hold up. You're gonna get listen, listen to me, listen to me, listen to me, all right. If you need me, wait. If you need me, wait, wait, just wait, wait out. If you need me, wait. You can stop interrupting me. Cause you're not saying but sit right there and wait. Read it. You got a question to ask. Uh, you finish that, right? I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you finish that, right? Yeah. 
Give me, come back, come back, come to life online. That's what you got. That's all you got, right? Yeah. Read it. Second Corinthians 10 and 5. Casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of the Most High and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. Because cats got a lot of imaginations out here, man. People imagine a lot of things, man. They imagine if their heart is going off, too. It's crazy. They imagine, and the Most High, he said, is a problem. Because they imagine in too many things. And then I listen to what they, the brothers say, I deliver you like a chance version of the Christ. I gave you one law, one, one vibration. You can't mess this up. You know what I mean? You should be good with this. Hold that. But the fact that, man, give me this here, 12th chapter, 12th chapter, give me uh, Luke 18, 15, no, no, Romans 15, 15, Romans 15, 15, 12th chapter and uh, 19 verse. 2 Corinthians 12 and 19, again, think you that we excuse ourselves unto you? We speak before the Most High in Christ. We speak before the Most High in Christ. We're not excuse ourselves before you. We think before the Most High in Christ. This thing is about the Heavenly Father. We want to prove, get to be approved for We don't care what nobody else thinks about us in the earth, man. When Christ and the Heavenly Father look upon us, you know, accept us. That, you, know, I, you know what I mean? That we sincerely come and repent in the spirit of righteousness. Right? Read it. Again, thank you that we excuse ourselves unto you. We speak before the Most High in Christ, but we do all things, dearly beloved, for your edifying. We do everything to be edified, for your edifying, to explain how this thing here go, to explain how life spells out. We do everything we do. So the Most High, we just read it. We try to bring every imagination you thought to the, to, to the thought, I mean, every thought to the, to, give me that back. Bringing every thought to the obedience of Christ. That's where it's at. Bringing every thought to the obedience of Christ. So now, if that's the case, and we expose you in one version, you can't be offered to all these other right versions and expect us to entertain it. We're not going to entertain this way and that way, because we're not on that page. We're locked in one way. I read on. For I fear, lest when I come, I shall not find you such as I would. Right, check this out. I understand this groove here, right? Went over this earlier in the house with my wife. And my grandson, if you watch this stuff, you check this out, right? We'll break this verse down for you. It is what it is, right? Read it. For I fear, lest when I come, I shall not find you such as I would, and that I shall be found unto you such as you would not, lest there be debates, envyings, wraths, strifes, backbitings, whisperings, swellings, tumults. The brother said, I mean, I, I, I fear. It's a problem. If I come I, and, and I find you not like, like I thought you would be. If I get there, I'm, I'm somebody that you didn't think I was big or was going to be. We, we have different mindsets. When I came, I thought you was like me. You was believing like me. But when I got there, I see you was different. And you see that I'm different. You, you expect something. We don't get the same thing. Now, when we, I come there, you know, of, of one mind trying to hook up with Christ, but you have another mind. You got a different program going on. This is how I go in Israel right now. Brother say in Israel, or you say you heard about Israel, and you Israel, and they come, yo, are you Israelite? What group are you with, or whatever this that? Or you come from this group, you can't match it with this group because they're not the same. They didn't get exposed by the, they, they, they're not, everybody not responding on the same things. Some people don't hold Christ in sincerity. So the brother say he's going to go down there in Shalom. Right? Say he's going to go down there and uh, maybe meet with some other people. When you get there, they might not be what you expected. And when, when, when they meet you, they might say, you not, might, might not be what they expected. And you don't match up. And you know what I mean? You don't match, read that verse one more time. You don't match up. It's a problem. Right? Read it. For I fear, lest when I come, I shall not find you such as I would. Right. And that I shall be found unto you such as you would not. Right. Lest there be debates, envyings, wrath, strifes, backbitings, whisperings, swellings, Tumult. That's what's going to happen. It's going to be a beef. It's going to be static. We're not, we're not the same. We're not in the same mind. We don't get along. There's whispering because, yeah, I mean, no, yeah, this cat here, what are you doing, man? Well, I ain't hear about this stuff here, man. It's going to be some, you know what I mean, tumult and beef. This cat here, come, you know what he said? Because we're not in the same mind. That's why you got all these different, different congregations or all these different camps talking about their Israelites. It became a religion. 
They start to follow this religious stuff. The brothers think they can do anything they want to do, but this is my congregation. Yeah, right. Read it out. It's not like that. You know what I mean? All them cats going to get crushed. All them cats not sincere in Christ. They're not sincere in Christ. Right? Read it out. Who we talking about? IUIC, the Passover we talking about, we rest. IUIC, GOCC, ISUPK, Sakari. Tazadaki is dead, Art. He's dead, Art. He's dead. Right. Your brother said Tazadaki tried to make himself a dial. He tried to make a dial out himself, right? Read it. Quiet. Like, listen, listen, listen. He's a little bit too close to the cameras, right? Read it. And, and at least when I come again, my power will humble me among you, and that I shall bewail many which have sinned already, what? and have not repented of the uncleanness and fornication and lasciviousness which they have committed. Understand what he says? He said, when I come again, it's going to be a problem. Because everybody I see there is going to be cast there and nobody didn't repent. These brothers didn't even repent. They didn't even repent all the, all the wickedness that they're doing. It's crazy. Give me this uh, 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 Leviticus, the 15th chapter, right? Read that again. I want to focus on a little. I want to give me a little something on this uh, uncleanness, right? Because New Testament stuff. This guy here, uh, Geno Jennings, down there in Philadelphia. I seen a little clip of them. They're rebuilding their church. They're rebuilding their church. One of these big Catholic churches, big building. You know what I mean? Spend all this money. He said they house, maybe they can house up to 5,000 in there, a couple different sections. They're going to house five, get, get them up in there. He said they're working on this seven days a week. <laughs> he, you're supposed to get a rest out. The Lord built, he built the heaven, he made the earth in six days, he rested on the seventh. You can't have nobody working seven days a week with no rest. Don't want you building the church, right? Read it. One more time. And least when I come again, my power will humble me among you, and that I shall bewail many which have sinned already. Right and have not repented of the uncleanness and fornication and lasciviousness which they have committed. And they have not repented. Give me Galatians 4, 7. They have not repented of the uncleanness, the lasciviousness, and the fornication. I want to focus on the uncleanness part. Because all these men and women throughout the earth in these churches, they don't give no heed to being clean and unclean. When this is law. This is law according to how the Heavenly Father get down. He told us that in the schoolmaster. He said, I'm not accepting nobody coming to my face unclean. You can't come to me and be in unclean, in an unclean state. But then they don't know what's an unclean state. You know what an unclean state is, brother? Do you know what an unclean state is? All right, yeah, get it. <laughs> All right. Give me, what, what's an unclean state, Doc? Right? Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. An unclean state is an unclean state, mind and body and soul. Because now look, you only get knowledge, wisdom, understanding when it comes to the Lord. That's it. Hold up, listen. Everybody's listening for this answer. Do it one more time. What is an unclean state? That's wrong. Give me something better than that. Jack, come out here. What and is an unclean state? Un no, 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 no. Yeah, an unclean state is, look, somebody come out here every day. Don't got no mind, state, or body, or soul. Now look, every time y'all come out here, I hear y'all. Now look, I got wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. That's first and What's your name? My name's Sean. Sean, respectfully, you're wrong. But let me give you some scriptures. Respectfully, that's wrong. I'm going to show you what the unclean state is. Re respectively. Check this out. Read it from the top. No, here. Give it to me from, uh, yeah, read it. This, this is Leviticus 15 and 2. Before that, brother, read out the Bible and quote it to you. The Lord said, don't sleep with your woman in an unclean state. When she's on her monthly, it's unclean. If any man have a running issue, he becomes unclean. If you, if you go to a dead, but you go to a funeral, it's dead body, you're unclean. These are states and conditions that make you unclean, spiritually unclean. But if you don't realize, the church didn't teach you that. Check it out. Read it out. 
Bring it up from, uh, uh, yeah, read that too. This, this is Leviticus 15 and 2. Speak unto the children of Israel and say, and say unto them, when any man hath a running issue out of his flesh, because of his issue, he is unclean. He's unclean. What is a running issue? Do you know what a running issue is? Do you know? Say yes or no. I don't know. Good. Don't answer though. No. We ain't looking for no guesses, man. You don't guess it, the Heavenly Father. We ain't looking for no compromises. If you don't know, you don't know. No big thing. Find out. Read it. A running issue is anything that's, that's leaking, keep running. It could be pus. It could be a, 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 a wet dream. It could be a... a, a it can't be anything. I, why you interrupt me and say it's nothing? It cannot be anything. I'm telling you what it could be. I'm telling you, a running issue. But it can't be anything. You understand what I'm saying? Right? Read it. <laughs> this is Leviticus 15 and 3. And this shall be his uncleanness in his issue. Whether his flesh run with his issue or his flesh be stopped from his issue, it is his uncleanness. He's unclean. Now here this guy, read that, 4 and 7. Hold that, hold that. Don't look, don't leave, don't go away. Read it. Galatians 4 and 7. Wherefore thou art no more a servant, but a son, and if a son, then an heir of the Most High through Christ. Praise the Lord. First Thessalonians, I'm sorry, First Thessalonians 4, 7, right. First Thessalonians 4, 7, right. Understand what the Lord's doing, how he call us, right? Read it. The church don't give you this. Listen, there's not a religious church going to give you this. And none of the church because they're all unclean. Read it. 1 Thessalonians 4 and 7. For the Most High hath not called us unto uncleanness, but unto holiness. But unto holiness. So how do you become holy? How do you become pure? Give me that Titus 115. How do you become pure? How, you got, you, holy means pure. How do you become separated? How? Read it. This is Leviticus 15 and 4. Every bed whereon he lieth that hath the issue is unclean. Stop. Bring it up there. Give it to me from... Uh, Wait, you know, when he's going to do... No, give me the woman right here. Give me this. Yeah. Check this out. Leviticus 15 and 16. And we know a lot, a lot of you churches and you camps don't understand this stuff here. You don't go by it. You don't do it. So you understand it, right? You don't practice this thing here. And we see it evidently, right? We, in the church, you see the people come there right with the baby. They just had the baby. They be right in the church, right? Read it. Leviticus 15 and 16. And if any man, seed of copulation, go out of him, from him, then he shall wash all his flesh and be unclean. If a man see the... All right, he's going to say it again. All right? Relax. <laughs> Verse 16, Leviticus 15 and 16. And if any man of copulation go out of him, then he shall wash all his flesh in water and be on the even. You understand that? What is the seed of copulation? Right here, man. No, what is the seed of copulation? What is that? That's not it. Well, what, what's the seed of copulation, brother? Give me, give me that. What, John, Johnny, what's the seed of copulation? You know what the seed of copulation is? Do you know what the seed of copulation is? The seed of copulation is a man when he is sperm, when he has an orgasm. If a man lay down with his woman, and when he, when he ejaculates, he lay down with a woman, that's his seed of copulation. That seed is sacred. That's the seed of man. Now, if you spill it, once you become unclean, every time a man lay with his woman, him and his woman become unclean. Every time. Read it. Read it again. 17, and every garment and every skin whereon is the seed of copulation shall be washed with water and be unclean until the even. And be unclean until the even. When he say wash all your flesh in water, that's from head to toe. So now you got a lot of women or men, they don't want to they don't want to put no water on their head. <laughs> they don't want to mess their hair up or something like that. They just got a hairdo. It is what it is, bro. Yeah, the fact that matters. Every time you lay with your woman, you become unclean spiritually. You can't come, so you can't come in the Lord's face like that. You can't come, you know, you do, or you can't come, or 
Saturday night like to do on a Saturday night with your woman. You guys did the thing all night, and you at church on Sunday. For them couple, like you're unclean. It don't happen, right? Read it. The woman also with whom men shall lie with seed of copulation, they shall both bathe themselves in water and be unclean until the even. They both unclean, right? Until the even, right? We. And if a woman have an issue, and her issue in her flesh be blood. Do the women get issues in their flesh with blood? Do they have that? Yeah, they get that every month. Huh? It's talking about the monthly, the monthly thing. Every month, right? Read on. She shall be part seven days, and whosoever touches her shall be unclean until the evening. Whosoever touches her going to be unclean until the evening. She should be a part of the days. Meaning the woman day she's supposed to be blood come from her, and she's separated. Right? Why did the Lord put that up? Go to Genesis real quick. The Lord put that up because of what she did in the beginning. He put that upon all women. She become unclean every month. This is why she can't be a Because she's clean. You can't come in front of the Lord with an unclean state and present yourself. It don't happen that way, right? This is part of being holy. Holy or being pure. Because you the Lord didn't call us on the unclean. Read that again. Give me that again. Yeah, uh, first this one. Hold what you got. Give me first this one again. Right, read right, read on. And everything that she lieth upon in her situation be unclean. Everything also sitteth sit upon shall be unclean. And whosoever her touches her shall close clothes and let himself in water be unclean until the even. Until the even. Until the go down. So here it is now. Nobody, brothers that don't pay this. Some women, they only be unclean or they get the little thing for three days or four days. If it's starting on Monday, they got this thing until Thursday, that's only four days. You're still unclean until the Sunday. You still got to count your seven days. You still count your seven days. You don't go ahead and deal with it anyway, which men do. Then you get the baby born with a problem. Some cats, you follow these, these, these heathen of the earth, they don't get no attention to these laws, and they, they, they had a baby, they, they you know, make the baby anytime. Ten months apart. Right, because they jump right back into it. But this is how people come down with autism and birth problems. Birth problems, because they, they, they deny the spirit. Show them what you got. Read it. Give me the uh, uh, Genesis first. Give me from, uh, he talk a lot. Uh, he, he talk a lot, lot. He talk a lot. When it's time to listen, he talk a lot. Yeah, I mean, you can't, you can't hear. You talk a lot. Lot. Listen, read it. Genesis 3 and 16. 15. And I will put enmity between thee and the woman, and between thy seed and her seed. It shall bruise thy head, and thou shalt bruise his heel. And to the woman he said, I will greatly multiply thy sorrow and thy conception. I will greatly multiply thy sorrow and thy conception. Talking about the monthly. Give her the monthly. Why? Because of what she did with the serpent. The Lord said, that between thy seed and her seed, the serpent and the woman. The seed of the woman is the nation of Israel. The Lord looked at the nation of Israel and his woman. And that's his seed. That's his seed. The seed of Israel or the seed of the woman is Israel. The seed of the serpent is the devil. So now here it is now. We got a problem with the devil in earth all the time. Right, work on that. Like, show up, man. Right, you know, you got to show up to make to make a difference. Busy, y'all. Don't just busy. Show up when you read them. <laughs> Unto the woman said, "I will greatly multiply thy sorrow and thy conception. In sorrow thou shalt bring forth children, and thy desire shall be to thy husband, and he shall rule over thee." They don't like that part, though. We're gonna read it again. The most I say, he gonna he gonna get a woman sorrow and conception. She gonna have a month. He puts his upon her for what she did with Adam, his punishment, and therefore she become she sin every sin every month. Be unclean is a state of sin. it's not necessarily a state of, uh, 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 a punishment of sin. It's not punishment like you did the evil, but it's, it's just all the matter. Now if you can. Punishable sin if you start to be flaked, but it's automatic. If a man loses his seat or, or, or lay with his woman, you automatically become unclean. That's not, and you become unclean is a sin. It's not righteous. You can't come standing in front of the Heavenly Father and be unclean. 
who just said that means that on Friday night, Friday night sundown, all these brothers and sisters around here, we don't copulate. We don't keep company with our women. We do that because it's evil. Then you can't come serve the Lord. You can't serve the Lord like that. Read it. I'll show them what you got. Unto the woman he said, I will greatly multiply thy sorrow and thy conception. In sorrow thou shalt bring forth children, and thy desire shall be to thy husband, and he shall rule over thee. He going to rule over thee. That's the setup, the most I got. So now when the woman comes and says, I don't want my man to be the head of the household. I mean, come on. The Lord said this, how this thing ain't going to go. We got to do this thing with knowledge. First three, right? You got the Leviticus or the, the Romans 15. Come back to Leviticus. I'm gonna up, finish it up. We'll get back there. Come and drop down, drop down, drop down. Drop it down to uh, I want this uh, this 29 verse. Read um, this is Lip this is still talking about the woman with a with a monthly. If a woman had a monthly, she had a monthly, and a monthly went past seven days. It went past seven days and went to 10 days or 12 days. All the days that she has her, her, her issue, she's unclean. If it goes 12 days, then she's unclean 12 days. Right? Read it. Levit <coughs> Leviticus 15 and 29. And on, the eighth, and on the eighth day, she shall take unto her two turtles or two young pigeons and bring them unto the priest to the door of the tabernacle of the congregation. And the priest shall offer the one for a sin offering and the, and the other for a burnt offering. And, and, the priest, and the priest shall make an atonement for her before the Lord for the issue of her uncleanness. Right. One for a sin offering and one for a burnt offering. A sin offering and a burnt offering. So that sin is sin. But it's not a, a, a punishable sin. A punishable sin if you get flagrant with it. The Lord said, I mean, of course, He said you can copulate. They put that one, they put that on the woman so the woman can be reminded. Don't lose that. Oh, no, don't lose that. Give me First Timothy. First Timothy. Read it. Why is she for first? Peter 3 and 1. Likewise, wives, be in subjection to your own husbands, <coughs> that if you obey not the word, they also, without the word, be won by the conversation of the wives. Right. Wives got to be in subjection to their own husbands. Run this thing according to order so they can do this thing right. So, you know what I mean? So, other women can know what's going on when they see the sister humble up doing her thing the right way. They be encouraged so they, she can win some of the other sisters to follow the same lead, right? I didn't want that, but read on. While they behold your chaste communication, excuse me, chaste conversation coupled with fear, whose adorning, let it not be that outward adorning or plaiting of the hair and of wearing of gold or putting on of apparel. So this stuff here, like your brother said, he didn't know about this thing here. All this stuff is kind of like an inside job, so to speak. The wicked ain't going to never know nothing. The wicked ain't going to never know. I cast this involvement evil, they're going to be in dark. That's the world is dark. The earth is dark. That's what it is. Christ is the light of the world. Christ is the light of the world. Without Christ, you're in darkness. You can't see. You don't know and don't understand this stuff here because you're walking in darkness, right? Whomsoever it may be. What I ask you for? Over here, too. This is First, First Timothy 2 and 8. For the New Testament, just so you understand, right? I will therefore that men pray every, every, everywhere, lifting up holy hands without wrath and doubting. Without wrath and doubting. Don't come around here doubting. You don't know, but you'll doubt. If you use this sin, it's like a sin. You doubt. You got you to believe, all right? You got to believe what's right. So what? If you say you believe in the Heavenly Father, where is the knowledge of the Most High Power at? It's in the Bible. It's in the Bible. Now, hey, no people no book. No book can't save you. You can't save yourself. How are you going to get saved? Who going to save you if the book can't save you? You can't save yourself. 
You are, you are, I mean, you you out there right now. Read it. In, in like manner, that women are themselves in modest apparel. Modest apparel. Sister say what's apparel. <laughs> you talking about they don't understand? Hold up. What you holding? Give me Daniel 12 real quick. Daniel 12 real quick. As, as the brothers and sisters don't understand, it's a print. It's a, it's, I mean, you got to do a lot to understand. What you got to do for understanding, don't lose this. Give me 28, 28, Joe, real quick. You got to do something to understand. How does this thing here go? Read it. 12, uh, down there. Ain't got no gloves on now. What you doing? <laughs> nah. Daniel 12 and 9. Right. And he said, go thy way, Daniel. For the words are closed up and sealed till the time of the end. Till the time of the end. When the time of the end, the words are closed up and sealed till the time of the end. I want brew on Proverbs 4. The words are sealed till the time of the end. We are in the end time. And now the words are sealed, right? Many shall be terrified and made white and trash. But the wicked shall do wickedly, and none of the wicked shall understand, but the wise shall understand. And none of the wicked shall understand. But the wise should understand. Matt Dice, come here. Matt Dice, come here. Answer that phone. Take that call. All right, read it again. Uh, and many shall be purified and made white and tried, but the wicked shall do wickedly, and none of the wicked shall understand, but the wise shall understand. But the wicked, many going to be purified and made white or made pure, but the wicked, do wickedly, and none of the wicked gonna understand. This is why cats don't understand. Give me a twenty-eight real quick. Twenty-eight, Job twenty-eight and twenty-six. Looking for wisdom. When he made a decree for the rain and a way for the lightning, thunder, then he see it clear. He prepared, yea, and and unto man. Behold, the fear of the Lord, that is wisdom. That's wisdom. And to depart from evil is understanding. You got to stop being evil if you want to understand, whomsoever you may be. You got to stop being evil if you want to understand. Come back. You got to stop doing evil if you want to understand, whomsoever you may be. Right? Go ahead. And from the time. No, stop. I need you to give me Proverbs 4.4. 4. Go back to where you was at. What you was holding? First Peter 2, right? Read it. Proverbs 4 and 4. Taught me also and said unto me, let thy retain my words, keep my commandments, and live. Live. This is how you live. Read on. Wisdom and, excuse me, get wisdom, get understanding. Forget it not, neither decline in the words of my mouth. Praise the Lord. Forsake her and she shall serve thee, of her and she shall keep thee. Wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom with all thy, with all thy getting, get understanding. Right. Therefore, get wisdom. And with all thy wisdom, get understanding. I hear you. Right. <laughs> Say again. Oh, oh, he said, oh, you mixed it up. Oh. <laughs> Get wisdom, Mike. Right. <laughs> Read one more time. Go ahead. This is um, Proverbs 4 and 5. Get wisdom, get understanding. Oh, shoot, shoot. Sorry, that's not it, right? Yeah, you're right. Come on. Oh, sorry. Get wisdom, get, underst get understanding. Forget it not, neither decline from the words of my mouth. Right. Come on. Forsake her not, and she shall preserve thee. Love her, and he shall keep thee. Come on. Wisdom is the principal thing. It's the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom, and with all thy getting, get understanding. But the only way you're going to understand is if you depart from evil. And with that, we bring it back next week. Shalom.